Okay, so I'm videoing this in case it turns out really good and then I can share it with you guys. I am cooking creative today and I am using some stuff that's in the house. And yes, I'm dressed. I happen to have one of my night shirts on because I showered a little while ago and it's 6 o'clock so I'm planning to go to bed after we watch a movie. So I have this Polish kibasa or the Polaska kibasa, whatever you call it. Um, a ring of that. I have a can of sliced potatoes and partial bag of frozen peas. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but we're going to try it. So the first thing I got to do is get my big skillet. And then I think I'm going to open the can of um, potatoes and drain the water off them. Drain our bowl here. And I'm just going to drain the liquid off the potatoes. I'm going to just throw those in. So we got that in there. Then I'm going to put in maybe about a half cup or so of peas. About like that. Yeah. I'd say it's about a fourth to a half cup of peas that I put in. I'm just eyeballing it. It was about half of what was left. Now I'm going to get that going. And I'm going to have mom to kind of keep an eye on that. Um, stirring it every once in a while. Because those potatoes are soft potatoes but okay and then what I'm going to do is cut up my kielbasa I love this type of kielbasa it's my, one of my favorite meats especially in stir fries I love a good stir fry with this but I didn't have the stuff to make a stir fry not the kind I will eat so I am trying this out I have no clue how this is going to turn out um, I have a recipe for a crock pot meal that I got on YouTube that I make every once in a while. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this all up and put it in there. Anyway, um, that I make every once in a while, but I didn't have an onion, and I didn't want to make it without an onion, so. Because it's just potatoes and um, kielbasa and onion. I think that's all you put in the crock pot for that one, but a really good meal. Yeah. I think I'll put a little soy sauce with that maybe. Don't you think? Some soy sauce. Uh... Be okay. So what's the most creative dish you came up with during your quarantine so far guys? Because I'd really love to hear some ideas. A touch of garlic powder. There's, oh there's the spoon. So I'm just going to do like a couple pinches of garlic powder through there. That look like enough? Yep. I just did two pinches of garlic powder in there. But you don't want too much garlic. No, you don't. And I'm going to do two pinches of onion powder, I think. That look good? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's all we're going to throw in. And then a little bit of soy sauce, I think. And we're going to call that good. And we're just going to get cooked through. I think I'll add the soy sauce toward the end. We're just going to cook that for until everything's cooked through. Here. Here I'm probably going to. Okay. So I wish I had some like questions and, that I could give you answers to while I'm working on this. Uh, maybe I could do a couple story times or something. So. Um, any good questions you think I should share answers about? Where did you learn to cook? Where did I learn to cook? Well, I have a few sources of where I learned to cook. Um, my mom and my sister cooked when I was younger. When I, before my sister moved out, a lot of it was my sister did a lot of the cooking. And then my mom did. But they both had no problem with me being in the kitchen helping out. So I would help my sister cook. We'd get up in the middle of the night and bake cakes and stuff too. So that's where my love of cooking and... Uh, baking comes from is through my sister and my mom and then also my aunt would teach me things when I'd stay at her house because I used to stay at my one aunt's house um the one that lives about 45 minutes away and then like when I would go to dad's family they lived on farm so there was a lot of good food cooked there so I kind of I grew a love of food but I'm also a very picky eater um mainly because of how sensitive my stomach is to food and then 
when I was in school, I took um, family living in middle school. So for two years, I learned how to cook and sew and make flower arrangements and that kind of stuff. Um, and then in high school, I did home ec one and two, I think. And then I did parenting. No, I did home ec, adult living, parenting, and foods, I think, were the four years, four classes I did in my high school years. I might have been one other one, too. But I... I love learning how to be independent and stuff. So I can do a little laundry thanks to my school. I can do, can cook things to my family and my school. I mean, like, I've been doing laundry since I was real little. I would help my sister do laundry. I, but um, I also had a teacher that made sure that we knew how to do laundry, how to cook, how to sew a button on. I can sew a button on really well. It's about the only thing I can sew by hand. I cannot make a flower arrangement by very easily. I actually know guys that do better than I do with flower arrangements, so. It, I mean, other than the one that is a florist. I have a friend that's a florist, but, yeah. I was going to say, he showed you. Yeah, but I'm getting better. I'm learning a little bit as I go along. Okay, so that answer your question? Yeah. Okay, any other questions? Oops. Okay, I'm going to throw a little soy sauce in here, I think. Pretty good, don't it? Yeah. Just sprinkling in a couple turns of the pan, as Rachel Ray would say. Just a couple turns of the pan. Yeah. I'm not guaranteeing this is going to be tasty, but we'll see. Okay. If it turns out really good, I will post this video. If it turns out really bad, I will not post this video. I'm going to call that. What do you think? That's good. Okay, we're going to plate this and try it. So I'm gonna have mom try it. How's this looking? Looks good. Looks like enough. Okay. So there's what it looks like finished. Can you guys see that? Okay, and I'll try to remember to take a picture of my plate before I see. I'm gonna give mom this to try. Try a little bit of the peas, the uh, meat and all that while I get mine plated. Okay. okay. And she's going to give us her opinion. We can't see her, but we can hear her. There, we can see her. Until I get in the way. Be honest, because my feelings won't be too hurt. <laughs> That's good. Mmm, uh, that is cooked. Okay, that's still good. Oh my god. I need this again. I think I would make this again. Okay, so there's a simple supper for you guys. If you're looking for something that wouldn't be too hard to make. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe if you haven't already. Click the notification bell so you don't miss out on the videos. Comment down below some other things that you'd like to see me try to make into something. Or other recipes I should try. And if you try this, don't forget to share it with me on Instagram. A picture of it or... Comment down below that you tried it and how it turned out. And we hope you have a wonderful day. Phil's out to love and laughter, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.